In this video, I'm going to show you how to set out and manufacture a 90 degree bend in steel trunking lid. So we're essentially going to turn this into a 90 degree bend. The piece you'll be using is 700 millimeters long. These I've already measured. The 90 degree bend is going to be at 350 millimetres, so we'll measure that out first. Measure 350 millimetres, use a combination square, scribe off that centre line. And for the purpose of the video, I'll do another one here in black ink. That's your centre line. I'm using a scribe on this piece because it's more accurate. Next you need to scribe off two 45 degree lines from that centre line. So we're looking for that shape. If you do use a scribe, you can get a board marker to make those lines a little clearer. Now to cut the material, we're going to use a hacksaw which has a 32 tooth per inch blade. Go for my first cut and cut within the waist. So I mean this side is your waist. You can cut within that line. You don't want to cut on this outside line because that's what you need to keep. Once you get to this apex, stop. You do not want to cut this back edge. You need to keep this complete. That is going to become your bend. Now you'll notice the material is quite flimsy now. So for my second cut, I'll move it along the vise. I'll clamp both pieces. And it's nice and stiff. Go for my second cut. If you're less confident with a saw, use both hands. And ideally when you're cutting, your cutting angle should be quite low, so you'll be cutting at an angle like so. So now we have two pieces. And first off, I'm going to dress these cuts with a file. Just file those off. And you'll see I've, I've mounted some wood on this bench at exactly 90 degrees. So I can bring my lid into that and it should meet exactly at 90 degrees, which it does. Our next job is to remove this side edge from this triangle, which we're going to reuse to join that back together again. Pop that in the vise, nice and loose, Put the blade in with your saw and then tighten the vise. You can use the vise to lead your blade. Yeah. 
clean up your cuts. Next, we're replacing this and leaving some room about 10 mil either side for the return edge of the trunking itself. So ideally, we want that plate in there. First thing we'll do, we'll mark up a couple of holes on that plate. I'm going to use a punch. The purpose of the punch is to stop the drill from skating around. It will stay in place where you want to make your hole. I'm using a four and a half mil drill bit. I'm going to be using four mil rivets to join these two pieces together. Let's make those holes first. Next up, while your piece is mounted in that 90, mark through. It's worth marking this so you know which way up it was. This is likely that that won't match up the other way around. Use our punch again. And throw in a second lot of holes. material from the vice. Now we're going to join these together. For that we're going to use 4mm pop rivets and a rivet gun. The pop rivets go shaft first into the rivet gun. We'll pass that through the back of your material. Bring up your plate and squeeze the trigger to collapse the rivet. Release fully to get rid of the shaft. Now we've got one rivet in place, we can use that 90 on the bench to finish the joint. happens to you where one of your holes doesn't line up quite perfectly, it's not uncommon, just hold it nice and tight, well clamped, send the drill through again, put your last rivet in. Now 
know, you'll notice we've got manufactured lid clips here and none on this side. So for the purpose of this, I'll put one hole in the middle and I'll use a roofing bolt and a lid clip to join this to your trunk. Bolts, I'm using a six and a half millimeter HSS steel bit. The last thing you would do, which I won't do here because it will damage my bench, is you would spray it with a zinc galvanizing spray. This is one I did earlier, this has been sprayed with zinc spray, this will prevent any of your cuts or drill marks from rusting if this is outside. That's it.